afternoon. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style, and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel, and then you can click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video, we're going to focus on fashion. We're going to focus on some quality brands that I do want to bring to your attention. And this is going to be more so for fall and winter fashion. So we're going to do a lot of knits. We're going to do a lot of long sleeves and a lot of midi dresses. Okay. So I do have 14 brands that I do want to bring to your attention. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first brand from day one that I have started my channel, I have always spoken about this brand. Number one is going to be Pixie Market. I have two tops from them. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with those tops. And then I have a dress from them that I do want to show you. So the very first one is this sweetheart neckline right here. Again, if you have watched my videos, I did a comparison with this one with the actual one. This is the inspiration or the dupe. The actual one comes from the designer house of Kate. Tried that one, didn't like it. I love this dupe, okay? Okay. This is the newest one. I have it in black. And then of course I bought it in white. The white one is the one that I bought first, but I absolutely love these tops. And then also I do have a brown dress from Pixie Market to show you. The reason why I like Pixie Market is because like I said before, I would consider them like an indie brand. I would consider them contemporary and I would consider them quality. All three of the pieces that I just showed you, when we talk about the knits, they're soft, they snatch you. That's one thing that I know everybody is, you know, looking for right now. That's everybody wants to look nice. They want to have a nice silhouette. You know, we can't all be built or shaped like a Coke bottle, but we can have clothing that someone enhances our curves a little bit. I know that I myself need help in that department sometimes, but this dress right here, again, it's basically the exact same knit, the exact same silhouette with no sleeves. And then this is a midi dress. But if you are looking for quality knits, I would highly suggest that you do Pixie Market. I do believe they run all the way from extra smart, extra small. And then in some of their pieces, they do run all the way up into extra large. Now I will say the two shirts that I just showed you, they do run true to size. This is the only dress that I have from them, but this is actually a medium. So I would suggest to you that if you wanted to try out one of their dresses, especially the ones that are the thicker, a thicker rib knits or just a thicker knit if you are on the cusp of your size i would say to size up okay but yes um those two tops they were 119 and the dress was 155 but again if you are looking for quality knits i would highly 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 suggest pixie market and then they're just going to have stuff that not everybody has they're an emerging brand a lot of fashion bloggers a lot of people who are into fashion know about them but the everyday person is probably not going to know i found them on instagram and i have been obsessed ever since okay number two again if you have been a part of my community from day one you would have heard me mention this brand it is going to be fashion bnkr if you are looking for a gorgeous quality like cocktail dress brunch dress something very different or just an over the top going out dress running errands having brunch just being that girl or being that girl that always has a beautifully crafted unique dress i would suggest this company to you i have a several dresses from you one of my newest ones is going to be this piece right here i actually got her on sale i want to say she was originally like 250 i got her for 50 dollars, and i love this now there is some tweaking that does need to be done for this particular dress i do need to have some crinoline added to the bottom for a little bit more volume and then the waist does need to be taken in this is an overseas brand so what i will say to you again if you are on the cusp of your size i would suggest to you to size up their sizing is a little bit smaller than the American size, okay? But if you are looking for a brand with very uniquely made dresses, quality is there, then I would suggest Fashion Bunker to you. Y'all know I don't wear pants, so I can't speak on their pants, but when it comes to their tops, when it comes to their dresses, and when it comes to their skirts, I have many pieces from them, okay? Number three is going to be Aritzia. And again, if you have been watching my channel, I have been singing the praises of this brand forever. They are a Canadian brand. They don't have very brick and mortar stores here in the States. I found them when I was actually in Colleyville. I was in uh, Texas and they actually have a store in, I think it's the mall and it's not Frisco. It's 
it's in the DWF area. I just can't remember the name of the mall. But once my girlfriends and I found that mall and found Aritzia, I absolutely loved it. I was in there probably every weekend. And not only because of the quality clothing, but because of their sizing. The small size that they carry is either a double zero or an extra, extra small. I am proud to say that I no longer fit the, that size. I'm now like an extra small, small. If I'm, you know, feeling, feeling myself, I might be able to get into a small with a little bit of tailoring but I love the store because they had the extra extra small and it was a real extra extra small okay so a couple of examples from them I am a creature of habit especially when I was at my smallest size um, in college I would say I probably weighed 98 pounds it took me forever to get in the triple digits okay but I love um, Aritzia and I have several examples to show you I'll only show you three but one of my favorite things from them is this midi skirt right here. I have this skirt, I wanna say in at this point in time in six colors. I have it in this one right here, the light gray. And I have it in dark gray. Every single time this store has a sale or they have a new color, I do buy them. Um, again, it keeps you cinched in, in the waist. The sweater material is so thick and so soft. And then at the bottom, it does have a slit just to give you some room to move in. And then I do also have this top to show you. This is a dolman sleeve. You have the turtleneck and then it, it is cropped and then you are able to tie it to the front or to the back. Every single time, again, they make a new color in this sweater, I buy it. I would say for this one right here, I had at least five or six again. So of course, this one right here matches those two skirts that I showed you, but I have it in white, I have it in black, I have it in camel. I think I have it in like a, 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 a as a matter of fact, I have it in a, a slightly like beige or lighter tan color. I love this, okay? Now, Aritzia, I would say it's going to be moderately priced. The top, I wanna say, is around like 115, and then the skirt is around like 120, but both of them are 100% wool. The skirt is very soft. The um, top, you might, I don't, but some people do find it a little itchy, so you can wear like a little shell. You'll definitely have enough room in it. But if you are looking for quality, beautifully made knits, again, not something that everybody is going to have, I would suggest to you Aritzia, okay? Number four is going to be Sister Jane. Again, this is not an American brand. They don't have any brick and mortar stores here, but they do, they are on Instagram, Facebook, and they are, do that, they do have their own e-commerce website. I like this brand because they have very ornate and voluminous dresses at great prices. It kind of puts me in the mindset of like a Molly Goddard or um, a Rosanka, or what's the other one? Um, Cecile Bonson. It's very ornate, very fluffy, very voluminous. If you are looking for a very, very unique dress that not everyone is going to have, again, I would suggest Sister Jane. The other thing is they have like very prim and proper. They have like the Peter Pan collar. They have like the um, very, sh they also have like the very short and cute Chanel sets and dresses. Um, it's going to be, it's not going to be everybody's taste, but if you are someone who loves volume, like for instance, a voluminous brocade dress, if you are into that, Sister Jane is going to be your site, okay? Number five is going to be The Chemist. This is a black owned company. She is based in the UK. I am going to show you a summer piece because I have not been on her website to see her winter collection. But when I tried this dress on, when I saw it on the website, I absolutely knew that I would love it. So it is this dress right here. It is a maxi dress. It has all the volume, all the fluff, and it is made beautifully. I wanna say that this dress was like 115, but it's 100% cotton and it is true to size. I got, um, what is this? I got a size eight, which is equivalent to a two or a four in the US, but I absolutely love this dress. Y'all know one of my favorite things, especially for summer and for spring, is a maxi dress and then make it white. And I believe she has pockets. Does she have pockets? She does have pockets. So this dress is a 10. But if you are looking for quality made pieces, again, that not everyone is going to have, I would highly suggest the chemist to you. It is with a K. 
but her pieces are very unique she is very up on trends but she also makes classic pieces i know one of the things that's selling out on her website right now are the two-piece as athleisure wear sets you can wear them with slides you can wear them with boots you can wear them with heels you can wear them with a tennis shoe they are so cute they have like of course they have like the um the pants and they're tailored so it gives you like an even more elevated look but then she has like the one with the hoodie the one without but then she has like this really cool zipper detail effect where you can keep it closed or you can keep it open okay so if you're looking for something unique and i think at one point she was hand making all of it but because she has grown so much she has added a couple of seamstresses but it's all done in-house and she is the creative director and I love a lot of her pieces, okay? And she also does made to order, okay? Number six is going to be and other stories. Again, if you have seen or if you have watched any of my videos, especially when it comes to hauls, you would have seen me pick up several pieces, dresses, and I can show you three sweaters right now for, that I have gotten from and other stories that I absolutely love, okay? So the very first one, which y'all have seen before, is this gorgeous sweater right here. My favorite color is gray, but I love this simply because of the embellishment right here, but then because of the sleeve. And it fits so well, and it is so soft to the touch, and I got her on sale. I want to say that end of the story sweaters typically start anywhere from around $59 to $99, depending on what the material, material is. Then this one, which I had been stocking forever, finally came back in stock. It is the novelty sweater, and it's because of the buttons. They have different buttons going down, but I love this silhouette. Again, you do have the voluminous sleeves. You do have the cute little buttons, and then the color. I absolutely love the color, okay? This site is typically true to size. Both of those are extra small. And then I do have this dress. It is also an extra small. And it is, again, that same silhouette. It is a dupe for the Kate dress, the Kate Beth dress. But you have the gorgeous silhouette. Then you have the sleeves. And this is a midi dress. But again, if you are looking for quality, if you are looking for something that not everyone is going to have, I would suggest to you and other stories. They are an extension of H&M, I do believe. I don't shop at H&M, but I do shop at End of the Stories. All right, number seven, I'm going to keep this brief and short because I don't know much about it, but it's going to be A Goldie, and this is specifically for jeans. If you don't want to go the Mason Margellis um, route, because I know a lot of people are raving about his jeans as well, I would suggest to you A Goldie. I have been on their website and the reviews are raving for basically all of their jeans. They have boot cut, they have skinny, they have wide leg, they have bell bottom, they have lot high rise, they have low rise, they have mid rise, okay? I have heard so many great things about this. I have watched Monroe Steel. I have watched Scout in the City. I have watched High Low Lux. Scout in the City just did, or for Luxmas, she did a haul. She had, I think, like three or four pair of A Goldie jeans. She's a slender woman, but they all looked really good on her. And a plus of what she was saying is that they make your tush look good as well, okay? Number eight is going to be Line by K, and this is actually a company that was started by an influencer. I have been on her site, and again, the reviews are raving. If you are looking for like beautiful classic pieces for like jerseys and jersey knits, I would suggest that you go there. Every single time I'm stalking something on her website, it does sell out, but she has like really beautiful dresses. She does have mini, she does have midi. Y'all know I do prefer the midi, but if you are looking for quality jersey pieces, I would suggest that you do go there. And she makes them in really beautiful colors. She does do like the black, the white, but she also has like camel. I've seen green, I've seen purple, I've seen a pastel blue. So if you are looking for quality knits, I would suggest a line by K. Okay, number nine, again, is going to be an over the seas brand. It is Cezanne. I do have a piece from them. If you, again, if you are looking for beautifully crafted knits, I would also look at Cezanne. You can wear this to the front or to the back. I have worn it to the back because it's backless if you wear it that way. But it is this beautiful wrap top right here. I got it in this color. This comes in purple, it comes in green, it comes in blue, it comes in orange. And this is actually from last season, but this is a classic sweater of theirs. So they are always coming out with different colors, but I absolutely love this. It does wrap, you can wrap it to the front and have the V in the front, or you can wrap it in the back and have the V in the back, okay? And then you do have the wraps. 
you do have the voluminous sleeves right here and this is so soft to the touch for some people it might be scratchy but for me it's very soft to the touch if you are looking for again quality knitwear i would suggest that you try out Cezanne. This sweater, they come out with every season and they make it in beautiful different colors. They also have dresses. Their dresses are beautifully made as well. And they also do have jewelry. Their jewelry is probably going to start anywhere from about, I would say, $55 to $60. And then it can sometimes go up into the hundreds. But I do have a pair and they are well worth it because they are so beautifully made and beautifully crafted. Okay? Number 10 is going to be Amanda Uprichard. And I don't have any of her pieces, but again, I have looked at several pieces like Monroe Steel. She had a couple of pieces from a haul. This is going to be some play, this is going to be a design if you're looking to go out for like going out for like a cocktail hour or for like a date night. She's gonna have like very silky, shiny pieces for you to try. Um, she does have midi dresses, she does have mini dresses. She doesn't typically do like very revealing pieces. She does leave something to the imagination, but I was just on her website and she had like deep pinks and blues, just really beautiful pieces to go out in, okay? Again, she is going to be moderately priced. I have seen dresses on there for as low as 150. I have seen dresses on there for as high as 300, okay? Number 11 is going to be Alex of NYC. I found this brand on Farfetch. This is also going to be if you are looking for elevated basics. I have seen wools on there. I have really, I have seen beautiful jersey on there. And it's mainly tops and bodysuits. And then you do have dresses and you do have skirts. I have seen beautiful knits. I do have my eye on a couple of bodysuits. Some of them do have the shoulder. And then a lot of them have cutouts. When you go on the Farfetch website and you type in Alex NYC, you're going to see a lot of cutouts. They do brown, they do black, they do white, they do camel. It's going to be elevated basics. It's going to be in that jersey knit. Again, I did see a bodysuit on there for like 150. Some of them do go all the way up to about three. When you start getting into their knits and when you start getting into their dresses, of course, because it is more material, it is going to be more. Like I said, I do have some sales on my Farfetch website, but the reviews that I have read, people absolutely love them. If you have ever watched the Chic Maven, she has had a couple of pieces from Alex NYC, and she does also recommend. If you've never watched her, I would suggest that you do. She is the epitome of black girl magic when you start talking about luxury. Her closet is gorgeous, but I've seen a couple of pieces on her, and they look just as beautiful as they do on the website, okay? So if you are looking for elevated jersey, elevated basics, I would suggest that you go there. While cutouts do come and go, I do feel like this company does it in a way that in 2025, their tops and their dresses are still going to be relevant, okay? Okay, the next two are going to be two um, jewelry brands. The first one is going to be Ana Luisa. Again, I do not have any pieces from Ana Luisa, but I have been on their website and I absolutely love what they stand for and I love their pieces. They're very understated and they're very classic. Of course, right now for jewelry, either people are going very classic or they are going very over the top. I love like a lot of their gold pieces, okay? The next one is going to be Majuri, and I actually left mine upstairs. I do, and I love Majuri's packaging. I do love the pearl drop earrings. They were sent to me. I did a collaboration with them on Instagram, but I love them as well. They have some over-the-top pieces, and they have some very understated pieces like the pearl drop earrings that I have. They're, you know, quality when it comes to that. They're not cheap. Um, the earrings that I had, I think they were about $200. So they are not cheap, but if you are looking to kind of up your jewelry game when it comes to quality and contemporary and cost, like if you don't really want to wear costume jewelry, if you want your post to be hypoallergenic or if you want the post to be silver or if you want your earring post to be gold like i do have a cousin who is a like who is allergic to fake jewelry and she has to wear nothing but real and if you don't necessarily want to go to fine jewelry or if you don't want to go to designer jewelry those two brands they will definitely elevate your look okay 
Number 14 is going to be a shoe brand. It is Shoots, and I do have a pair to show you. It is these right here. Whenever I start talking about nude, I'm talking about my nude. I'm not talking about beige, I'm talking about nude. But I love this company because their shoes are quality, okay? Of course, you have this high heel, you do have the strappy shoe, and then on the bottom, these shoes are all leather. Even the bottom is all leather. The reason why I have this company on this list is because you are going to be hard fine to press, especially when you start talking about fast fashion companies or your more affordable companies like Steve Madden, Jessica Simpson, Aldo. I remember when Steve Madden used to have all leather shoes, okay? Steve Madden is now selling shoes that are not even leather for upwards of $120 and $125. These shoes are all leather and I wanna say I didn't get them on sale, but I wanna say they were less than $200, okay? Um, when you start talking about quality of shoes, finding an all leather shoe, even before you start getting into the designers like Prado, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, because sometimes even their shoes are not all leather. If you are looking for an all leather shoe, like for instance, Aquatalia, they are a boot company. They have all leather shoes, again, even on the bottom. I think my most Aquatalia boots were like $500. If you are not someone who can spend $500 every single time you want a pair of leather shoes, I would suggest to you shoots, okay? Um, I have never bought a pair of boots from them. I have never bought a pair of pumps from them, but these right here are all leather. So I think it's safe to say that the rest of their shoes are all leather or you're going to get the quality that you're paying for, okay? All right, and then I just wanna do an honorable mention really quickly. This is a website within itself. If you have never heard of the company called Shopbop, they also do e-commerce. Yes, they do have luxury pieces and they do have more of your expensive contemporary brands. But the reason why I am mentioning this company is because if you were ever on the hunt for a new brand, Shopbop is definitely going to have them. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because they have a tab where everything is under $200 and I typically go there because I do like a monthly quality finds of $200 on my blog. If you're ever looking for a new company, they have a tab, everything is literally under $200, but it's still quality, okay? So if you were ever looking for quality, if you were looking, ever looking for a new brand, I would suggest to you to actually get on their website and go to that tab, okay? Those are all of the brands that I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other brands that you find or that you feel as though is quality and you feel that it is moderately priced. I just wanna remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then of course, you know right here, I will put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.